Hello, my name is Maya Petrova. I'm a medical consultant of Nearsoft company Russia, and today we will perform different types of tests uh, which allows us to evaluate the state of auditory system of our patient. We will use near audio device and special and powerful uh, computer software nearaudio.net. Let's start with the audio acoustic emission tests. Actually, near audio allows us to perform different types of audio acoustic emission tests, including spontaneous audio acoustic emission, transient evoke audio acoustic emission, and distortion product audio acoustic emission tests. All of them uh, allow us to evaluate the state of the uh, inner ear, um, in particular uh, inner hair cells of cochlea. In clinics, we uh, often use only transient evoke and distortion product autoacoustic emission tests. To perform this kind of test, we need to use a special autoacoustic probe. We will connect it with our amplifier, their special adapter. Um, before inserting the probe in the uh, out ear canal of our patient, we need to choose uh, the right size of probe tip, for example, like this, and put it on our probe. Next, connect. Before inserting uh, the tip in the ear canal of our patient, we need to perform otoscopy to check if uh, the uh, ear of our patient is free. Also, our room must be uh, soundproof enough, have a good grounding, and we ask the patient uh, maximally relax the neck uh, and the face muscles. We insert the tip by gently rotating, moving. Now we can run near audio.net program, press new exam button, insert the patient's data. Name, sex and birth date and press OK button. Now we can see a lot of prepared templates for different kinds of tests. We need to choose a transient evoke the acoustic emission, for example. We can see here uh, templates for base and screening. Press OK button. Now we are in the main program windows uh, for performing this kind of tests. We can see here uh, the intensity of stimulation, the frequency of stimulation, and the side of stimulation. We need to choose the left side. All uh, the settings for this test we can see here, pushing the test in place tab button. Here we can see a lot of them. We can change if we mm, don't like something. If we like all of them, we press OK. And can start our stimulation, press acquisition with repetitive stimulation button. Here now we can see a stimulus calibration process and the stimulation and averaging procedure. Now we can get the result pass. It means that uh, uh, the hair in cells of cochlea of our patient function well. In another cases, for example, some problems with cochlea or some problems with condition of performing um, this test, we can get the result refer. And uh, in this case, our patient need um, uh, to go to deeper acquisition. Now we can perform another or the acoustic emission test, we can push this button and uh, choose, um, for example, distortion product or the acoustic emission test. Base, press OK. Choose the side of stimulation and press this button.
Also, we can see a stimulus calibration procedure. And now the stimulation and averaging procedure. The probe deliver different pyotons. And if the inner hair cells function well, they um, deliver new tone. It will get by the microphone uh, in the probe. And we can see that our patient passed the test.